In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best OBS settings for streaming to Facebook Live. This is gonna help you to avoid any lag, crashes, or any other problems with uh, your live stream while live streaming to Facebook. Let's not take much time, let's get into it. As you can see, I've got my OBS open, and the first thing you need to do, obviously, you need to go to settings in your OBS. You wanna go ahead and go to stream, and you wanna make sure service is obviously checked. This should be Facebook Live. Server, you wanna keep it on default. And then the stream key, usually you're gonna get this in your back in Facebook. So right now, this is my Facebook page. If you go to live, choose a streaming software, you're gonna get your stream key right here and this is what you're gonna paste in obs once you have the stream key you want to make sure you hit the apply go to output and then under output usually the first thing when you come here you're gonna see it's gonna say output mode is gonna be set on simple you want to make sure it's actually you set it to advanced and then you want to make sure you choose streaming okay you can ignore everything else and then uh, audio encoder you want to make sure you leave it to core audio acc video encoder if you have a dedicated graphics card you want to make sure you choose nvidia nvec h264 now if you don't have one you want to make sure you actually choose x264 all right if you have this one you want to make sure you choose it now rescale output you can actually leave it the way it is make sure it's disabled now for rate control you want to make sure you choose constant bit rate now for the bit rate the maximum you can actually use is going to be 6000 now you can go anywhere between you know 3000 to 6000 is going to give you a good looking stream however the higher you go the better now to be able to decide which bit rate actually you can use you want to make sure you go to google and type in internet speed test you want to make sure you check your internet speed uh, before you can decide how much bit rate you can use now if you have anything above 10 megabits per second for your upload speed you should be fine so as you can see for me i have more than enough so i'm actually able to use 6000 kbps or 6 megabits per second all right again anything above 10 you should be able to use the maximum no problem now keyframe interval you want to make sure you use 2s this is what facebook requires now for preset here you want to go ahead and actually play with all the settings here but for me i like to keep between p5 slow good quality or p6 slower better quality all right basically this is gonna depend on on the strength of your pc but also trying to balance not putting too much uh strain on your computer and having a good quality stream so whatever works for you for me slow good quality always works no problem everything else guys you leave it the way it is be friends make sure you leave it at two and you don't have to change much here really just hit apply and we're gonna go to the video section now for the video section best canvas resolution you want to make sure you set at 1920 by 1080 output scaled resolution you want to make sure you put it at 1920 by 1080 common fps value if you streaming a talking head video like what i'm doing right now you want to make sure you leave it at 30 if you're gaming you probably want to boost it to 60 frames per second this one right here so for now we're gonna leave it at 30 frames per second and the last thing we need to check is gonna be under output and audio and for track one because we're using track one you want to make sure you actually use a around anything below 256 so the maximum you can get for facebook is 256 but anything if you do 160 you should be fine uh, as well so you can take the max or use 160 it doesn't matter once you're done just click apply and click ok so at this point if you have your camera microphone and everything kind of ready in obs the last thing is just to hit start streaming and you're gonna be able to send your stream to facebook and it's gonna be a healthy good looking live stream now these are just the obs settings that need to be able to live stream however if you want to learn how to create all the scenes that you're looking at right now add your camera microphone and some other graphics starting soon ending soon kind of scenes i mean build the entire show in obs before you go live you want to make sure you check out this video guys and i'll see you there take care